Hey guys, welcome so back to Bombay TV, guys. Today we're going to be checking out. Don't tell me how to dress. Buy move to make. Guys, I feel this is actually to people that actually feel like dressing. If you're not dressing properly, it's like it's not a major sensitivity. So, they're good gifts. They're good gifts can overcome the badness. So, I think that's what this is about. But let's check it out. Let's check this out. Assalamu alaikum. People say, don't tell me how to dress. Don't tell me what to wear. Who on earth are you to tell me? My brothers and sisters, we're believers. And you know what? Yes, we do know that we feel hurt when people tell us the do's and don'ts. But I'm going to word it in a very beautiful way. We were created by the Creator and we're going to return to the Creator. So what we need to know is when He has asked us to dress in a specific way, find out what that way is and adopt it. And when you do that, you would then be considered a true believer and you would be preparing for the day that you meet with Allah. Why he asks you and I to dress in a specific way or at least to cover uh, in a certain way, there is a minimum and then inshallah, whatever you want to do beyond that is a good thing. But the reason why he says that, he knows there is holistic benefit for you in this world and the next. Take a look at the Quran where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala instructs uh, a certain category of females to, to wear an outer garment. And then he says, This is closer for them to actually uh, be recognized as women of high morals and values, women who are chaste, women who are honorable, uh, and so they won't be harmed. So Allah is telling us in the Quran, and this is not just for women, it's for men and women, that if you were to adopt what I am telling you, you will find because of that recognition, people will consider you upon a certain level of values and morals upon a certain standard of connection with Allah, upon a certain point. And therefore, they will not harm you. They will not look at you in a derogatory way. They will not uh, say bad words to you and so on of a certain, perhaps, uh, you know, degree. Now, at times people might say, well, there are those who are covered completely who are still abused. Well, the abuse is different, subhanAllah. One is to be abused because they would consider you of low morals and values. And what, the other is to be abused because they would consider you of high morals and values. So they cannot stomach the fact that you have a very high level of morals and you're just not dissolving in the cauldron. So subhanAllah, that irritation makes them pass comments. When you are enduring them, you're enduring them for the sake of Allah. It may make them uh, say hurtful words and at times even to the level of persecution. It's that persecution or harmful words that you're enduring for the sake of Allah. The reward is tremendous. But then there is that that you're enduring for the sake of shaitan, which means or for your own sake. So I'm enduring this because I decided that I really don't want to cover the way as a believer I'm supposed to cover. Nowadays, people say, do what you want. I know from a secular perspective, that may be what is valid. But from a religious perspective or from an Islamic perspective, those who believe have set themselves a certain level. Come on, find out what that level is. Find out for yourself and be interested in it because we don't want to get to a day when it's too late. We're saying we're believers. So find out what you're supposed to be doing, the level of dress, both, both male and female, and do that and see the benefit. So the next time someone reminds you, I know the reminding is different from person to person. Some people are harsh the way they speak. Some people have a softer tone. Some people might just encourage you without even speaking. So everyone has a different way of getting the message across. But try and understand, ultimately, everyone wants to see goodness for themselves and for others. 
And I hope when we speak to others, we don't just attack them or speak in a very judgmental way, rather in an encouraging way, in a beautiful way, tapping them to say, you know what, my brother, my sister, find out for yourself and make sure that you know what Revelation states and you understand that this is what I'm supposed to do and I'm supposed to be upon the highest level of morality, values, the most beautiful dress that will uh, relate me to the right things or connect me to the right things and they will actually uh, make me known for the right reasons and so on and then dress that way. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us all. Aqulu qawli hadha wa assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Guys, this is interesting. Guys, sorry I'm wearing a short sleeve, but this is interesting. And it's kind of it's kind of something that I actually talked about my I actually talked to a friend about this lately. I was kind of wrong the first part. But there was a day I saw someone and she she was mostly and she was not wearing the hijab. And I was like, why isn't she wearing the hijab? Then he was like it's not compulsory. You can wait if you want to. But that doesn't mean you're bad. I was like, yeah, okay, I understand. I try to understand the religion. And I know some people dress immorally. I'm not talking about Muslims. I'm not talking about Christians. I'm talking about people in general. Like some people dress immorally and they feel they should be accorded the same respect as a girl that cover up. I know some people will be like, we are in the 21st century. But well, 21st century does not give you the right to be stupid. And this is something that I feel a lot of people are doing nowadays. This is something that I feel a prophet, I won't call him a prophet, I'll call him a pastor. Yes, one of the greatest pastors that ever lived, that I know of, that I know of, our Bishop Benson Idahosa. He said that you have to be, you have to dress the way you want to be addressed. You can't be dressed like a prostitute and expect people not to address you like a prostitute i'm not saying like a guy who addresses as a prostitute but your fellow ladies we still see you as a prostitute and so men who dress like they are going to be addressed that way too so it's like you just have to dress the way you want to be addressed you can't go for a meeting wearing jeans and like you have to go like dress the way you know you are supposed to dress like like the way you want people to address you and this is something that i feel if everyone and actually work on it it's going to be it will be amazing like going to take people from 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 a five to eight guys tell me what you think about this video guys don't forget to like subscribe to my channel i'll see you this time guys first